hop on my friends so today's the day we've been in our house for six months can you believe can you believe six months six months six months is crazy it's gone so quickly so today we are talking about our philippines budget I want to show you guys how much we spend every month yes uh, before we left for the philippines we made a budget this was our estimated budget we didn't know how realistic it was going to be but we've been here for six months in our house we've collated the data we've recorded every penny we've spent no not a penny peso peso why are you keep saying penny? Penny? <laughs> we're not in england anymore so we're from the uk we still look at things in the value of pounds and pence but uh we're in the philippines now so we're gonna put everything on screen in pesos with a conversion to great british pounds <laughs> so when we were in england we had no idea if our budget was going to be realistic but we did a lot of research and we thought we could stick to it We've got six months figures, recorded everything we've spent, every peso we've spent, and we're going to go through it with you now. We're going to share our budget of living in the Philippines as a family of three. So just a little disclaimer, in our budget we don't include any of the costs of the house building. That would be a different video completely. We have money put aside for the house. And this is our day-to-day -day cost of living, monthly expenses, things like food, transport, utilities, internet, etc, etc. So we moved to the Philippines. Yeah, so we moved to the Philippines on June. June 2021. We moved into our house in September 2021, three months later. Mm. It wasn't finished, was it? No. As you might remember from an earlier vlog, we had no water on our first day. That was interesting. That was, that was a challenge. But we've got through that, we've had a lot of obstacles along the way, but we're settled now. Pretty much finished with the house, mm. just the garden, a little bit more inside, decoration here and there, but practically it's finished, it's done. So what we tried to do before we left is make a budget based on what we were spending in the UK, what we won't need to spend in the Philippines, and what we will need to spend in the Philippines. Some of these things are optional, some of these things are essential, and some of these things are variable in that you can change or choose how much you want to spend on them. Mm. So the first thing, the house, rent, mortgage, our budget was zero. And after six months of living, I'm happy to say it's still zero. We spent nothing at all in rent or mortgages. The house is owned outright. We have no mortgage, we have no debt associated with it. So that's a big relief really, isn't it? Mm. If you have money borrowed against the house, the biggest worry is can you afford to keep paying this debt back, this money back? Luckily, we don't have that. One of the main reasons for moving to the Philippines for us is we swapped that. In the UK, we had a house, we had a mortgage too. We moved here to a house that we own outright and we don't have any money we have to spend on that. Obviously we do have upkeep of the house, but we have savings put aside for that. So in the UK you have something called council tax. There isn't any of that in the Philippines, but you do have a land tax when you own land and property. Yeah, you're still paying for um, tax monthly, or yeah. you can pay it yearly as well if you want. Yep. We've put on our budget the monthly cost, but we do pay this annually. And happy to say that our budget was 250 pesos a month. We're putting aside 250 pesos a month. It's due to be paid any time now. But um, that's it really. We're on budget. That's a good yeah. start. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold now, a bit, of a, a bit of a wind behind us. It's not cold. There's no rain, as you can see. We've had loads of rain the last yeah. six days or so. We've not been able to get out and do anything at all. So we thought we'd make a video today. We we'll go for our budget. It's exactly six months anyway, so we're in a good position to do so. To be able to do this, we recorded everything we'd spent. We kept a spreadsheet day by day, week by week, month by month. We updated it, we recorded it. We adjusted our budget where we needed to, but we were quite surprised with the results. You might be too. So we come on to the next one, which is water. Now, if you have a property, you can have a water supply. Ours here, like the UK, we have a water supply. 
It's a means fed water, comes in off the street, comes into our system and we have responsibility for all the pipe work on our system. You might not know that you have responsibility for all the pipe work from the main road also, as we found out, <laughs> as you do get leaks from time to time. But we've bought a few compression joints. Is that what it's called? Coupling? Yeah, coupling. Yeah, we've bought compression couplings. Mm. And it's a case of going out, finding a leak, splitting the pipe and fixing it. It's quite common when you live in the Philippines to have a leak. The pipes they use, they're not buried, and they're not great quality, to be honest. They do split quite often and quite easily. But bad to our water, so we allocated 900 pesos a month. Is that too high? Is that the budget we... That's what have? we set as a budget we before we came. Uh, before we came. Yeah. Yeah, that was too high. Yeah, that was equivalent of around 15 UK pounds. Mm. Now, in the UK, our water cost was around 35 pounds a month. So we thought we'd knock it in half, just under half, 15 mm. pounds. So we've actually spent on average 138 pesos a month, which is about two UK pounds. So that's very reasonable, mm -hmm. very reasonable. Well under budget, luckily. <laughs> this is just the mains water, drinking water we come on to, that's in our food budget. But uh, been very surprised with the water here. We've got great water pressure, really high. Apart from when there's a leak now and then, it never mm -hmm. drops. We don't use our wa water pump all the time, only if there is like water leak, mm. like the water is slow. Yeah, even if it, only if it ever drops really, but it never drops unless there's a leak. Even with other houses here, it's never been low enough that it's had to come on. It's only when there's been an outright leak it's had to come on. That's obviously affected our electricity from time to time over the six months. Mm. But we're in a position now where we think we're on top of it. We can resolve it quite quick and quite easy. Just have to get our hands dirty a little bit. Yeah. But the water here is very reasonable in cost. I wouldn't say it's clean, you can drink it. Some people, the local people drink it, but mm. because we're not used to it, so no. we have to buy our own water for drinking. Yeah. But you can drink it if you get a filter system in place, which we're mm. going to look into doing. It will save us a little bit of money along the way clean up the water. So the next one, gas. In the UK we use gas for cooking and for heating. You don't need heating in the Philippines though, mm. it's hot enough. <laughs> so we allocated a budget of 900 pesos a month. Now the only gas we use is for cooking. Quite often we do cook outside using charcoal and wood, but our gas comes from gas canisters and they cost 1,040 pesos mm. every two months. It's pretty much bang on every two months we change the gas canister. Yeah. So in terms of the cost, it's 520 pesos a month, a month which is around £7.45. So it's not bad. Not bad for cooking. We don't always need it, but it's always handy to have. Mm. Sometimes when it's raining or when it's cold outside, dare I say. In the UK, the gas cost we were spending was £40 a month before we left. Now, that was mainly for heating though. I imagine the cooking costs are pretty much the same. Mm. The cost of living is going up everywhere, especially energy costs. In the UK from April, they're going to really rock it, almost as much as 50% higher. Mm -mm. And uh, it's a problem around the world at the moment. Energy costs are going up. So in the Philippines, we're quite lucky, really. We have different sources of fuel we can use for cooking. We don't have to rely on gas. And it does last us a couple of months, yeah. probably a bit longer when we start cooking a bit more outside. You enjoy cooking outside? You can beat a barbecue. <laughs> so the next one, probably one of the most expensive bills you're going to have is the electricity. Mm. Now, we have a house here with five bedrooms. It's quite a big house. It's just the three of us here, but we do use fans, we use TVs, internet, we use the oven, the washing machine, the fridge, the water dispenser. Mm. Quite a lot, really. We try to save it where we can, try to be as resourceful as we can. We don't use um, air condition. No, no air Because aircon. that will cost too much. Far too much. So it's quite nice here, it's quite windy. We don't need an air condition. Right now we have no fan on us, no air conditioning. 
just the breeze coming up from behind and to the side and it's perfect. No towel, no sweat, yeah. <laughs> not normally, let's see, not, I'm dry. I promise I'm dry. We're not pretending. We don't need air conditioning here. No, we don't. We have the summer months coming up, so that would be a challenge. <laughs> However, we've been here nine months now in the Philippines and so far we haven't needed the air conditioning at all. Sometimes we don't even turn the ceiling fans on, just open the window and that's all you need. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But again, back to the, our electricity, we budgeted 2,500 pesos a month. We have actually gone over budget on this one. We've gone over, over the six months on average, by 175 pesos, so 2,675 pesos. Now this is, as we said, quite a large house. We do have a lot of electrical appliances and we have quite a lot of lights. We try to save money where we can by not using them. However, it's not always easy. But to put it into perspective, in the UK we had a three bedroom house, much, much smaller than this, where we were spending 50 pounds a month on electricity. Mm. Here we're spending around 38 pounds 73. Even though this house is much bigger, we are spending less. Next topic is visas. Now we're not gonna go into too much detail with this one. We'll cover this at a later date. But our budget was 1,466, and we've spent on average 930 pesos a month, which is around 13 pounds 55 pence. If you're like me and you're in need of visual aid, then you may need glasses or contact lenses. I bought some glasses before we came to the Philippines, and believe it or not, my eyesight has changed yet again in the short time we've been here. So I probably need a week of prescription. Mm. Jane and Isabella are both lucky, don't need glasses or contact lenses, but I do need contact lenses. And I allocated 665 pesos a month for that. Mm. I spent nothing in six months. Mainly because before we came to the Philippines, I brought a year supply with us. But I've done some research and 665 a month is a realistic cost. So that should be on budget. Okay, so next topic, mobile phones. Yeah. <laughs> he used a lot of mobile phones. He used a lot, so that's why he spent too much money. Yeah, we can cut this back. <laughs> we really yeah. could. But you always have data every time. Yeah. I always make sure I always make sure I have data on my phone so that if we're out and about I can always contact somebody or connect to the internet or look something up if needed. Mm. But we do buy a package every week for us. So our budget for mobile phones was 780 pesos a month and we've stuck to this. Because we did our research before we came here, we looked at all the packages available and they haven't changed. So the load that we put on each week for Jane and myself is the same. We don't always use it, but we've averaged it out. We've gone with a worst case scenario. So this works out to be around 11 pounds 30. Okay. So food, the big one. So our budget for this was 9,000 pesos a month. We didn't stick to it. <laughs> we actually went over budget on this by quite a bit. We didn't know what the prices were gonna be like before we got here. And to our surprise, which we will share with you in upcoming videos, the cost of living has gone up quite dramatically in the last couple of years here. Since we were here anyway in 2018, mm -hmm. it's still affordable, it's still manageable. And if you're smart with what you buy, then you can still live here on a reasonable budget. On average, we spent 15,125 pesos. Oh a month. dear. That's a month. A month. So about 6,000 pesos above our budget. And we haven't restricted ourselves to what we buy. We could do. We could cut some stuff out. Yeah. And we're going to start doing that, trying to clean up our diet a bit. <laughs> when you come to the Philippines as a foreigner, you're not sure if you like the food, you do try it but you do tend to stick to what you know and what you like. I'm going to try to explore a bit more in upcoming months, mm. eat a bit differently, a bit cleaner, a bit healthier. We're going to buy more from the market rather than the supermarket, as the costs do vary, and we'll show you that. There's a dramatic, there's a drastic difference in cost between the supermarket and the market. Mm. And even the vendors from the side of the road, a drastic difference in price on what they sell and what the market sells. Mm. 
So what we've spent is the equivalent of £218.95 approximately. And this may sound a lot, but we are a family of three. This does include the dogs as well, dog food, which we hadn't originally budgeted for. This also covers our drinking water, which is 25 pesos per five gallon. We tend to go through two or three a week. And we've not really restricted ourselves, but in the UK, our food budget was 350 pounds a month. Mm. So even though we spent more than our budget, we're still quite a lot under what we were spending in England, in the yeah. UK. And uh, there are lots of options, not as many as England, I have to admit, but if you look around, you can get pretty much what you want. Mm. Just be careful of the prices though. Don't stick to what you love to eat all the time because if you do that, you won't stick to your budget. Now we allocated 2,000 pesos a month for this. We're well under budget, 1,095 pesos a month, which is around 15 pounds 86. In the UK, we were spending around 25 pounds a month on this. So again, we're under budget. Cleaning products, including things like toilet rolls, kitchen rolls. Now you don't have to have toilet roll. We've got two bidets in the house, <laughs> which to be honest, I've never used. Hmm. Jane uses them. No, I don't. She likes the spray. <laughs> you do use it a lot. Actually, I will start using the bidet a bit more. The cost of toilet roll here is pretty much the same as the UK though, but you can save a bit of money. 839 pesos, so we're under budget on this. We could strip it back a bit further if we need to. Okay, so the next one is another optional. You may not need this if you don't have kids. Even if you have kids, you might not need this. But we send Isabella to a private school. It's our choice as we want her to have a good education. Nothing against the public schools here, but we just thought a private school might be better for her, a bit easier a few more English speaking students and it might make the adjustment a little bit easier. Yeah. So this one is optional, completely optional. So we're pretty much on budget on this. We budgeted 2729 and we spent 2798. Mm. So only slightly more. It's very similar. Of course this one will go up year by year so we will have to keep refining our budget every year. But uh, it won't be forever. After a few years this one will go. It might get replaced with something else. So transport, now we bought a car when we came to the Philippines. This was not in our budget. The cost of this was out of savings. We had it set aside. And obviously with a car, there is some maintenance from time to time. That is also set aside month by month. So this is just really the fuel costs. And if we were to get any Jeeps or trikes or jeepneys or anything like that, mm. we set aside 2,000 pesos and we've stuck to it. So this is approximately £28.96 a month. In the UK, we were spending around £50 a month on fuel. So it's much less, although the costs are going up for fuel, as, you, as I'm sure you're aware, everywhere in the world. But we can still make it work, cut out unnecessary trips. Yeah. So if we need to go out, we make sure we have two or three things to do, mm. rather than go out every day and just do some random, random task. <laughs> task. Plus, <laughs> random task, Austin Powers. Plus, <laughs> go on. You don't like driving in the city as well because it's no. really busy. It's getting busier now. We're getting back to normal here in Ormoc. We have a private septic tank on our land, which will need to be pumped out every so often. We haven't spent any money on this, so so far zero. But we're putting 250 pesos a month aside for this which is what we budgeted, so when the time comes, we can afford to pump it out. So the last one is our other category, which includes eating out. We allocated 2,933 pesos a month. We're under budget for six months, 2,900. So slightly under budget on this one. And it is an option, obviously. Living in the Philippines, there's lots of great places to go and eat, and lots of great food to try. But you don't need to do it every day. You don't need to do it every week. No. Quite enjoy staying at home and cooking ourselves. 
but it is nice to go out now and then. Yeah. So our original budget was 31,423 pesos a month. So what we have actually spent on average, 33,403 pesos a month. This was low. Our original budget was based on 500 UK pounds a month on an exchange rate of 62.5%. So what we did is transfer money to the Philippines from the UK and we managed to transfer at a rate of 69.08. Mm. So much higher than 62.5. So what has happened, even though we're almost 2,000 pesos above our budget, due to the exchange rate, we're around 16 pounds a month under our budget, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does it make sense? So even though our peso amount is over, our pound amount is under. So the exchange rate we used will be consistent for the next 12 months. So we've locked it in place. <laughs> so even though we can go over slightly on our peso amount, we're still going to be under on our pound amount. Now we don't have any healthcare as such built into our budget, but we do have savings and also any money that we don't spend each month, we've been saving separately to cover things like this. So that's our six month average monthly cost of living here in the Philippines. Pretty much on budget. Obviously you can spend money really quickly, really easily. But if you're quite content to live a normal life, go out now and then, treat yourselves now and then, then your money will go a very long way. We're a family of three living in a new house and we're sticking to our budget. So in the UK, we were spending on average £1,500 a month. We have, no, we have no worry about mortgages or rent. So what we do in upcoming videos is show you the cost of living here in the Philippines, in Omok City. Philippines is now open for foreign tourists. So there's land for sale. There's lots of land here for sale, lots of houses. And we're gonna show you, in our last video, we showed you a lot of land for sale. Admittedly, it wasn't the cheapest, possibly not the best value. Just an example of what you can get. This is a very sought after location where we are, but there's a lot of great places in the Philippines mm -hmm. and we want to discover them as well show you all the land available, the houses available, give you an idea of how far your money will go in the Philippines. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all your comments and your feedback. Now, if you want us to do any videos in particular, drop us a comment. If there's any costs here that you want to know, any types of land you're looking for, any businesses you're looking for, let us know. We're gonna go out and about a lot more now. The weather's hopefully gonna to start to change and we will show you so much more of the beautiful Philippines and the beautiful Philippine people.